Theodore. He's a tugboat and a friendly tugboat too. A friendly tugboat too. Oh, Theodore likes to do the things that friendly tugboats do. Hello. Oh, I was just mopping up here. Or swabbing the decks, as we old sailors say. <laughs> You know, every time I mop, I think about Sidney Stickley. Who is Sidney Stickley, you ask? Well, see here, this is Sidney Stickley. Well, actually, it's a little carving that I did of him. Yeah, Sidney and I were friends when I was much, much younger. We worked on a ship together, and Sidney was always telling me what to do. Do this and do that. <laughs> But most of all, Sidney always tried to get me to swab the decks. And to tell you the truth, Sidney was really bossy. Kind of like Carla, the cool cabin cruiser. Theodore was searching everywhere in the big harbor for Emily. Emily was hiding with a big smile. You see, the two tugs were taking turns, hiding and hunting for each other. Oh, they called it search and rescue. It was fun and good practice for real emergencies when ships got lost. Just then, Emily heard a jazzy little whistle and saw a jazzy little boat bobbing her way. What are you doing, Emily? It was Carla, the cool cabin cruiser. Shh! Search and rescue, Emily explained. Theodore's trying to find me. Cool! shouted Carla. I'll do it with you. Uh, sure, said Emily. But, but, but we have to be kind of quiet. See, I'm hiding. I already found you, giggled Carla. Come on, let's get Theodore and start again. <coughs> Carla tooted her whistle again, zipped off into the harbor. Emily grinned and set off after her cool friend. With Carla, you never knew what was going to happen next. Theodore heard one familiar whistle, and then another. He was very surprised to see Emily heading towards him with Carla. I'm going to practice search and rescue with you, announced Carla. Oh, uh, great, said Theodore in a kind of funny-sounding voice. Let's go outside the harbor, continued Carla, already setting off. It's much cooler there. Theodore, called Carla, tooting her whistle impatiently. But Theodore wasn't so sure he wanted to go. You see, he thought Carla was kind of, well, bossy. Come on, Theodore. Emily, follow me, said Carla. Now do what I do commanded Carla as she led Emily and Theodore out of the harbor, zigging and zagging this way and that. No, Theodore, Carla went on. Float in single file behind me. Catch up, everyone. It was hard for the tugs to keep up with Carla. She was so nimble and quick. No, no, float beside me, she ordered and pretend we're a giant super tanker on the ocean. So, she kept changing her mind. Come on, let's go, Emily. Soon they arrived at Cayley's Cove, a small fishing village just up the coast. Uh, this looks like a good place for search and rescue, puffed Emily, all out of breath. No, not here, said Carla. I know a really cool place to hide. Follow me. I, I, I think I have to go home, said Theodore. I, I have some other things to do. You do? said Emily, surprised. She knew how much Theodore liked to practice search and rescue. Before Theodore could say anything, Carla tooted her whistle. Come on, let's go, Emily. Theodore headed back to the harbor.
is a cool place, said Carla, slowing down at last. Emily had followed Carla far up the coast. You ride first, Emily. Sure, agreed Emily. No, not that way, said Carla. Carla, you're peeking, said Emily. I'm supposed to be hiding. I know, replied Carla. But don't hide that way. Go that way. It's much cooler over there. I can't hide where you tell me, frowned Emily. Otherwise, you'll know where to look. I'm bored of this, said Carla. Let's try follow the leader instead. I'll be the leader. Ready, set, stop, shouted Emily. Emily said it so loudly, it seemed to bounce off every rock in the cove. Carla was being so bossy that Emily was beginning to get angry. Why did you shout at me like that, said Carla. I... I just thought of a really good place to hide, answered Emily. She didn't want to hurt Carla's feelings and tell her she was being bossy. So she took off without another word. Emily, called Carla. I said I didn't want to practice search and rescue. Did you hear what I just said, Emily? Emily! Emily didn't want Carla to boss her around again, so she decided to hide in Kaylee's Cove until it was time to go home. Carla cruised along the coast, searching for Emily. But she couldn't find her anywhere. Maybe something's happened to her, she told herself. Then she began to worry. Maybe, maybe she really is lost, she thought. There was only one thing to do. Carla turned and raced towards the big harbor. Theodore! Theodore! Theodore was on his way home when he heard Carla calling him. Come with me, ordered Carla, all out of breath. Now at first, Theodore thought Carla was just trying to get him to join her in search and rescue. But Carla explained it. She thought Emily was lost. Lost, repeated Theodore, sounding puzzled. It wasn't like Emily to get lost. No time to talk, Theodore, said Carla. Follow me. Theodore hurried out of the harbor with Carla. They split up to search for Emily. Carla headed up the coast, while Theodore decided to look near Kaylee's Cove. Theodore! Theodore! Someone was whispering his name. The only one around was a fishing trawler. Back here, the voice called again. Theodore floated over. Emily! He said, surprised. Oh, what are you doing there? I'm hiding, explained Emily. Really well. Did Carla go home yet? She's looking for you, replied Theodore, who was puzzled. She thought you were lost. Carla's bossy, explained Emily. And I, I just didn't want to do anything with her. That's why I didn't want to come with you, too, said Theodore. Carla is bossy. I guess we better go tell her I'm okay, sighed Emily. I hope she doesn't boss us around. Me too, said Theodore. Emily! Emily, are you in there? Carla was entering a dark cove along the coast, far from the harbor. Carla cruised deeper and deeper into the winding cove between narrow, rocky passageways. Emily? She called softly. Then she stopped. Did I come from that way? Or, or that way? Carla wondered. She was lost. Carla quickly turned. There was an awful scraping sound. Well, why can't I, I move? She grunted. She tried to turn again, but she couldn't budge. She had wedged herself in between the rocks in the shallow cove. This is silly, she shouted. But the more she tried to free herself, the more stuck she got. No one will ever find me in here, she groaned. I'll be stuck forever. Where could she be, said Theodore, still searching for Carla. Do you think something might have happened to her? The tugs could see that the sun was setting, and that meant that they would have to return to the harbor and report Carla missing. I wish I had told Carla she was being bossy in the first place, said Emily. This whole rotten day never would have happened. The tugs began to turn back towards the harbor. Wait, said Theodore. 
he could see a faint light coming from inside the cove. Help! Help! cried Carla, although she knew no one could hear her in there. cried. Is that you? In here. Carla called back. I'm stuck. Carla, said Emily, relieved. Oh, we were looking all over for you. I was looking for you, said Carla. Well, I hid in Kaylee's Cove because I didn't want you to boss me around, admitted Emily. I'm not bossy, said Carla right away. Then how come you have to be the one to tell me what to do all the time, Emily went on. I only wanted to have fun, said Carla. Well, when you're bossy, it's no fun, said Emily. I'm not bossy, repeated Carla. Emily could see there was no use arguing with Carla. We better get you out of here, she said at last. Theodore moved into position to push Carla free. Don't push me, ordered Carla. You should pull me with your tow ropes. The tugs backed up again to pull Carla. No, both in the middle, said Carla. Theodore went one way and Emily the other, and they almost bumped into each other. No, one on each side. No, Emily was starting to get angry again. We can't help you if you're going to be bossy like this, she told Carla. I'm not bossy, insisted Carla. Yes, you are, frowned Emily. Not, 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 replied Carla. Stop calling me bossy, and you should push, and Theodore should pull. No, you should... Well, suddenly, Emily and Carla both had to smile. You see, Carla was being so bossy that this time, even she knew it. Emily, said Carla, I'm sorry. You should do whatever you think. I'll try not to be so bossy. Well, that was all Emily needed to hear. She and Theodore quickly moved into place. In no time at all, Carla was free, and the three headed back to the harbor. Let's follow the leader home, called Carla. I mean, would you like to follow the leader? Said Carla nervously. Theodore and Emily smiled. Cool, they shouted. You be the leader, Carla, said Emily. Cool, smiled Carla. And off she went, zigging and zagging in her jazzy little way, with her friends following after. Yes, it's much more fun when no one's being bossy. Well, I better put Sydney down and finish swabbing the decks. Thanks for visiting us here in the Big Harbor. We'll see you all again next time. Dun -da -da. Dun -da -dun -da. Wait a minute. Sydney's missing something that I made for him. There we go. There we are. There. That's just the way I like to remember Sydney. <laughs> <laughs>